cool players. Hey, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel, and thanks so much for watching, everyone. Today, I want to cover something really cool. I want to talk about these. These are called elephant balls. They're training balls, and I use this one right here quite often. When I'm spinning my cue ball, I want to see the reaction of the object ball, and I want to show you something that's really cool today. Let's check into it. Okay, I want to talk about spinning the cue ball and transferring spin to the object ball. So in this case, I'm just hitting center ball on this stop shot. And you'll notice that the stripe on the elephant ball stays nice and straight and true. Now, if we apply any kind of English on our cue ball, though, it won't do this. So watch what happens here when I hit a little low right. I'm transferring spin to the object ball, which makes it spin towards the corner pocket. Knowing this, though, this, this can be something that can uh, be to our advantage. So if you'll notice pros when they cut in a cut shot like this, you, watch where their tip position is. So here I'm showing you two. I'm showing the center ball strike and an inside top right. But watch what happens when we show, throw a little outside spin on this cue ball. This is outside top left. Look at the stripe on the elephant ball. It stays nice and true. What's happening here is I'm throwing the object ball into the corner pocket. I'm getting it to tumble with, with pure roll into the corner. And this can be a great thing because it can help us pocket this shot. It makes the corner pocket, believe it or not, play larger. Pros know this, they play this a lot. Watch the tip positions when they do a cut shot into a corner pocket or even into a side pocket at times. So, Pay close attention to their stroke and where that tip is placed. Now, another great shot to know, and some players don't know, is one when you have two balls that are frozen to the side rail, and you've got a pocket one down in the corner. So in this case, I'm hitting low inside. Look at the cue ball as it spins after it hits. What's happening is I'm transferring spin to the object ball, getting it to hug the rail, as it goes into the corner pocket. If you try to hit this shot with just center ball and the cue ball, you'll bounce that object ball off the rail and it won't go in the corner pocket. It'd be very rare if you could make it. But if you use this technique, you'll pocket this ball almost every time. Give it a try, guys. I think you're gonna like it if you don't know about it already. Um, but I wanted to share this uh, by applying spin on the cue ball. We can transfer spin to the object ball and that'll help our games overall. Thanks for watching. I'll keep the video short. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and also leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the video. Thanks for watching once again. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.